Hey besties, so I'm just going to show you guys uh, the measurements and how I got to this design for my ring pop wrapper and then we will go ahead and get it printed and also I will assemble it with you guys as well. So my first thing is obviously going to be the squares. I went ahead and entered two squares which I have here on the side and I changed the dimensions. So it will look basically like this. This will be your uh, basic ring pop. The measurements that you're going to use is the 6.5 by 4.75, which is the full size of this wrapper. If you measure the actual wrapper of the ring pop, you'll basically get a quarter of an inch shorter. I chose to make it a quarter of an inch larger just for the sake of not having to fight with it when I assemble it. The first one it fit fine but it was just a little bit of a you know stretch. I wanted it to fit a little bit more securely and not have as much like pulling to get it um, to wrap around. And then for your middle section which is where you're going to design the front of your ring pop is going to be 2.5 by 4.75. Um, so otherwise all you have to do is go ahead with your design. I knew I wanted a spider web, but I didn't want the Spider Man on it. So when I did a search, I went, you know, of course, I typed in Spider Man background, and this is what I came up with, and this is the one that I chose. And then I knew I wanted to use my son's face on a Spider-Man's body, so I found a PNG from Google as well, and I just removed the face off of the body. I'm going to go ahead and insert the images that I used and then assemble this pretty quickly. The second thing is I have everything that I'm going to use. I'm just going to go ahead and make everything smaller so that I can work with it. Another thing that I wanted to mention was anything that you put here above or below the middle section of your design has to be flipped horizontal and vertical. So you'll just go here and click flip, horizontal, flip, vertical. Okay, and that will appear the way you want it to. Then you can go here to your control panel, go to print, and then change it to whatever color you want. You can use these same measurements for Publisher and Microsoft Word. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click Make It. I've already flattened, and then I will go to, I'll make sure my print looks right here. And then I'll go to Continue, Send to Printer, Advanced Options. I'm going to go to Preferences. Premium presentation mat, high quality, okay, print, and I'm going to go to copy paper. So I am using a strong grip mat, but it's old and it's not very strong. Okay, so here is my image. I'm just going to go ahead and remove it.
want this side to go over first. So I am actually just going to fold to where I want it. So I want this some of this part to show. Obviously, I don't want to cut off his head. So I'm just folding that. Second piece that you can see this is with a quarter of an inch more than my first so this still takes a little bit of maneuvering so you can imagine how the other one was a little bit tight so this is how it looks on the front And then I'm going to use my same little paper crimper. Mm -hmm. 